All right, today is episode five of the LS9 Nightmare. Uh, we got the crank in the balancer and got it all set up. And <clears throat> we're gonna go over uh, how we build the bob weights and all of that jazz, so stay tuned. So come, come over here to the computer. And it tells us here, uh, you know, I mean, it just asks questions. So it wants to know all of these weights and then it'll give us a total bob weight and then per half. So we'll come over here to the scale. We left one bob weight off. So, and, and we always weigh the bob weights and halves. So it's calling for 922.8 and you know, we hit it at 922.5. So, you know, obviously two halves together on one journal represents all of the rotating and 50% of the reciprocating weight. And then we add a few grams for oil and then that's how we figure a bob weight. So uh, let, let us get this one on the crank and then we'll get ready to spin it and then see, see how, where we at on it. All right, so, um, we got it all built and when we pulled this thing apart and obviously, you know, if you've watched all the series, you know, this thing has been, you know, somebody's built it before. So it's got, uh, two slugs, a Mallory there, a slug there and three slugs in the rear. So I, I mean, that's a little odd to me, especially with what the Bob White come up to. So it, you know, it, it, it may be good, but I, I got a feeling it's going to be out in fantasy land, but we'll see right here in a second. But, um, and basically we're using all the components that were in the engine, except we, uh, changed to a diamond piston that we had made for it. And the, the main reason is it was already, um, 75 over. And the bores were a little junky, so we just had an 80 over piston made, a four and 80 piston made, and so we just honed it to four and 80. And so again, the bob weight is well under 1,900 grams, so I just find it hard to believe it's going to take that much Mallory. But we're going to spin it right now, and we're going to find out. That's ugly. So, yeah, I mean, you can see we 30, man, that's crazy. 36 grams in the back, nine grams in the front. So what that's telling us is it is obviously it wasn't ever balanced correctly to start with. And where's it at on the front side? So we actually don't have enough weight on the front side and we got too much on the back side. Huh. Oh, why is it always gotta be complicated? So over here on the front, we're gonna have to, we're gonna probably have to work up here and try to, cause we're, and I don't know if we're gonna get there or not. So right, come on, right, right there. So right here is telling me that it's, it's heavy right here. So the only thing we can do is just try to contour this front journal or we'd have to come over here and put, you know, at 180 degrees, which would be like right there. We would have to come in here and put another slug of Mallory to to get this side and then obviously on this side, right there uh, is telling us it's, it's heavy right there. So we're gonna have to drill it here 
but I mean that's crazy, man. Twenty something grams different left to right. That's that's a lot. So, um, yeah. So we're gonna tear it all down, and then I'm gonna work on this side over here. We're just gonna grind it and contour it, and see if we can get this side to come in, and then we'll then we'll start working on on the right end. All right, so what we done is we just ground the the front of this forging and the back side on the number one journal just to get rid of some of that weight so we can hopefully get it light enough here so we can do the correction on this side. And, you know, unfortunately, th this will never be a beautiful job like we want it to be just because it's already been welded and drilled and Mallory and I mean you know it just is what it is so this is what we got to work with and we're not going to spend the rest of our life trying to make it you know 100% visually perfect because we just can't the only thing that we can do at this point is just get it in balance and you know sometimes this is the kind of crap we have to deal with and and everything is ultimately in these situations it's just a compromise and you know but it, it'll work and it'll be fine it's just not aesthetically pleasing so we got it ground i think we there we're gonna spin it and let's see what it says All right, so yep. So now we're nine grams light. I mean, heavy on the counterweight side, on the front, and we are twenty nine grams heavy on the back. And and you know, like always, look look at me. So you can see. So look look back there. You see how the out of balance on one end to the other is 180 degrees out. So come look back over here. So, you know, we're heavy here and we're heavy here. And so we, we, we were 30 something grams heavy on the back side, but when we corrected some on the front side, it directly affects the back side. So just like it's showing us we're 29 grams here and you know nine grams and something here, when we correct this side, it's gonna affect this side. So we're gonna start on, on this really heavy side and unfortunately, so right there, right there. So if you look, there's a piece of Mallory sitting right where I need to drill. Uh, I don't mind drilling a little bit on that Mallory, but I wouldn't want to drill through the Mallory. And, you know, it's telling me I need to go 10480 deep, so an uh, inch 480 deep. And, and obviously when we drilling on Mallory versus just standard steel, we're not going to need to go nearly that deep. But I don't want to drill on the Mallory and affect the press fit and then the Mallory try to come out. And it is not... A preferable to ever correct a crankshaft anywhere but the end journals because the balancer is only seeing these end counterweights. But in a situation like this when you just you don't have a whole lot of choice I mean there is choices but it's just super expensive we're, we're probably going to come here and do the correction. Again, not my favorite thing in the world, but we'll only have to do it on the backside and only because it just wasn't done right in the first place. If it had been done right in the first place, we wouldn't even be having this conversation. So uh, I think we will, I think we'll just try a little bit on that piece of Mallory and just see how that pans out. And I'm not gonna get way deep in it. 
but I'd like to see how much it's going to take to get there. All right, that's a, that's a quarter inch in on that piece of Mallory. All right, so we drilled a quarter inch in to the piece of Mallory, and now the backside is down to 19 grams. So I'm going to take just a little bit more out of the, out of the Mallory, but I ain't going ain't gonna to do much more because I don't, I don't want to have no issues with it. But I'm going to probably take another 50 or 75, and then we're going to see what that says. And then that'll put the hole on this counterweight really shallow to get us, you know, down to close to zero. Let's see what that says. Maybe it won't be quite as bad as it looked like it was going to be. But stuff like this, man, it just, some of this crap that comes in here, like I don't know what these people were doing. It's, it's, I mean, I don't even know how you screw it up that bad. I mean, I could see if both ends were the same and it was just out of balance to the rotating assembly, but for one end to be that much off than the other, it's just, it don't even make no sense. So that got us, that got us down to 14, just a little over 14 grams, almost 15 grams. So I'm going to stop there and I'm going to move over to this second journal as much as I don't second counterweight, much as I don't want to. And we're going to go ahead and get that little bit over here. Let me get centered up. And then we're going to zero Z. All right, and it's telling us 650,000. All right, so that got us down to like six grams. 
And I didn't go to full depth because I'm looking at the front side to see what the front side's doing. But we, I think we in good shape on the front side. So we're gonna bring the back on down just a little more. And then once we get the back pretty close, we'll do the front and then we'll tweak both of them in for the, for the final deal. But it's always a little easier, especially when you're doing weirdo stuff like this, just to kind of sneak up on it and not try to just blast it all out at one time. Because, you know, sometimes you can get in trouble if you ain't careful. And it's always easier to take more than it is to put some back. Yep, I mean, we, we just almost there. If I can get it down to like two grams on the back, then we'll go work on the front, I think is what we're gonna do. Yep, so, so that's close enough for us to go to the front side and get it tweaked in, so. Yep, and of course we're gonna land land right in some Mallory again. Man, I can't win on this deal. But it don't need much on the front, so we shouldn't get into trouble on the front at all. I'm just trying to get centered up here. And of course, this is a weld, and I bet you that it's going to be ugly because I feel it bumping around down in there. You know, this is another reason why it's really hard to price some of these jobs. Because you get into crap like this, and, and they just make you want to pull your hair out. And of course, this thing got a hard spot and it's trying to kill the drill bit. Like death warmed over. 
So let's do this. We're gonna come over here. Sometimes you just got to cheat stuff. I mean, you get, you know, it wants you to put a hole right here. Sometimes you just have to get on both sides of that hole and remove some metal to try to balance out what it wants you to do versus what you can actually do. And uh, and that's that's a big deal. And a lot of this stuff, you know, I mean, you just have to make this crap up as you go. And I mean, it works, it's the same difference, but it's just, you know, the, the computer's saying, I want it here, and when you can't do it here, you just, you just had to make it where you can do it. So that got us a couple of grams. I am rock hard. Just wonderful. Yep, in the wrong place. I'm just spin it again like I was jacking with it. Go back here at the back and try to work on that a little bit. So we're going to go with that.
we close, boy. I mean, we like to be under half a gram, but I mean, anything under a gram is good stuff. But even more important than being under X amount of out of balance is for the front and the back to be together. Because that's super critical. And the way it was to start with, the front was way lighter than the back. And then that creates the oscillation that kills parts. Yep, so, and, and again, that looks really good. You know, it's under half a gram, that looks great. But we are gonna touch the front again and that's gonna screw up the back. So just be aware that it looks like it's great, but it really ain't great yet. And I don't know, it's, it ain't really where it needs to be, but we might can do some cheating. Always cheating this thing. and it's almost on the front side, it's done got out of the counterweight again. So if I can't, if I can't bring it back around, we're gonna have to grind on the front side some more. But it's, it's close. I mean, it's, it would work just where it's at now, but we're gonna, we're gonna try to be better if we can. Yeah, it's completely out of the window. So we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to work on the front side again. Oh man, I'm telling you, I hate this junk. All right, so we're gonna tear it all down and I'm gonna go grind on it some more and then we'll bring it back and set it all back up and work on it some more. But you see where we at, I mean, we, we, we light years ahead of where we were, but unfortunately, you know, for me to feel good about it, I got to get that front side under a gram. And if I can get that front side under a gram, then we'll be all smiles. All right, so we got it. We got the rod journal side ground some more and we got it back in, got all the bob weights on and I spun it and we made a few little corrections and I'm gonna spin it again so you can see what the software says but it was pretty close and we was down to like a couple of grams on the front and like a gram on the back and so we we just pecked a few more holes here and there and, and got it worked in all right so now we are 0.64 of a gram in the front and point 92 in the back and unfortunately so we had to we drilled this hole and we drilled these two holes on the back and then on the front we drilled this hole and a little bit on this hole and i think some there and then after we ground it we had to come back and make a little peck here to, to bring it back around. So, and again, I do not like having to work on these counterweights, but unfortunately because of the issue and, and all of this boils down to, if this thing had been balanced correctly in the first place and all the Mallory was in the right location, we wouldn't have had to do all this craziness. And 
you know, again, this is just aggravating crap you have to deal with when you have to go behind on a job. And I get, I just get so many jobs that are, you know, it's done been somewhere else and they've made a mess out of it or there's problems and then it ends up here and then I have to correct it all and then sometimes I get to be the bad guy too. And I, I, I believe moving forward because this stuff is just so time consuming and aggravating and you can't make it how it should be really. Uh, it's always, you know, uh, this, this is a perfect example. It's always second best because down the road, when somebody else takes this motor apart to freshen it, they're going to look at this cobbled up mess and think that I done all of this garbage. And unfortunately, you know, I didn't, but I, I'm going to get hung with that, you know, because, you know, it just, it looks like trash. I mean, it'll work fine, but it looks like a third grader done it. So, you know, I think moving forward, we're going to stop working on stuff that other people have molested because it just, it's just so aggravating and so time consuming. But anyway, so we got it under a gram on both ends. When we started, it was, dang, I didn't save the initial condition. What was it, like nine grams on the front and like 30 or like 30 on the back. Yeah, nine on the front, 30 on the back. So, you know, we got it under a gram. I, I really love to be under half a gram but I done fought with this thing so much, I ain't gonna fight with it no more. I mean, you know, anything under a gram is, is more than adequate for what we doing. So anyway, that's what it actually takes to fix a, 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 a turd. And so it's, it's done. We're gonna get it out, get it cleaned up, polish it. And then hopefully, I don't know, in the next few days, We'll have a video of the short block going together on this thing, filing rings and doing all that. We'll make a video on all that too. All right, we appreciate you again. Don't forget, at uh, 25,000, we're gonna give away a cam kit. Uh, like, share, subscribe. Uh, mash the, the notification bell so you can know when we upload a new video, that helps. Uh, comment, you know, you know the spiel. Uh, thank you, and we'll see you on the next one.